Assalamu alaikum. Hi. Ocean conveyor belt. So this is the topic that we're going to learn. So ocean conveyor belt is, is a combination of understanding from TS diagram, water masses, and how water moves from one place to the other, and the combination of surface current and deep current circulation, or thermohaline circulation. So by combining all of this information that we learned from the beginning of uh, physical oceanography subjects until now, so we can define and basically understand what actually happens in what they name as uh, ocean conveyor belt. So ocean conveyor belt basically is a, a process of uh, huge current circulation, a, a combination of all current circulation in the world from surface to bottom and create one conveyor belt system that is actually very important for the um, uh, climate system of the world. So uh, this is one of the quite recent um, understanding from oceanographers. I think since 1960s or 1970s, scientists start to figure out this, you know, they, they measure, uh, they, they are being able to, you know, fit all these puzzles and uh, define this ocean conveyor belt system. Uh, you, it, it is a very interesting system. Uh, it's a huge circulation system. Uh, it takes about almost 1,000 years to complete the whole system. Uh, so if you imagine there is one uh, parcel of water starting uh, this journey of ocean conveyor belt in the North Atlantic, so the only time that this same water will come back to this, uh, the original location, it, it might take about 1,000 to 1,500 years. So this is a huge circulation system that actually uh, shows that how integrated uh, the whole current system in the world is. I hope you will enjoy this topic. Yes in our global ocean so one of the most interesting dynamics in our global ocean is what we call as an ocean conveyor belt it is part of thermocline thermohaline circulation so what happened is uh, our ocean is actually uh, all these big ocean system thermohaline circulation surface currents that we learned before is actually interconnected between each other and this huge system is connected and are very important because it regulates our global climate. So it has a very huge influence in our climate system. Uh, but it is so beautiful that you can read from uh, even in the Quran, uh, Allah ada sebut ya, uh, Allah membiarkan dua lautan mengalir, keduanya bertemu, dan keduanya ada batas yang tidak dilampaui. Maka nikmat manakah yang ingin kamu dustakan? So this is actually one example of, actually in the ocean there is a, characteristics of waters and these water are moving from one place to the other with their own characteristics without being mixed with each other. Of course the mixing happens but this we can define those movement with a very particular uh, characteristics of temperature and salinity. So if you look at here to make it uh, so it's it's it is a very visual uh, information here so you can see that this red color is surface current and this blue color is deep ocean current so the surface is uh, surface current moved by winds and the both blue one is moving moved by thermohaline circulation so if you look at here so this is uh, where the area of water is being sink and then moving to the other parts of the ocean and then in the pacific so and in the indian ocean at certain area this water will move up you no know, loss its density uh, and then move up and then continue as a surface current. So it's like a, a conveyor belt that moves around uh, the world. So that's that's what it is. So basically it starts at the, at the North Atlantic and some part of uh, Antarctic Ocean. So when the water sinks, so it creates new water mass. So and then deep water will transport all of this water to uh, other ocean system and distribute to Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean and then they will return back as a surface flow. So this is a very important area. So what happened here is warm water from Gulf Stream moved to the north and as it reached the Norwegian Sea and this Arctic area, so when the water suddenly changed in terms of uh, you know the environment change to a very cold region, so the water suddenly changed in terms of temperature. So when temperature gets cooler, so it gets denser. So as the water gets denser, it will sink rapidly in this area because this water is very warm and high in salinity. So when it gets cooler, it gets denser and then it sinks and then this water then flows down and then moves to other parts of the ocean. So uh, those are 
the big area there's some in some scientists say that this is a the switch and on and switch off of the uh, the switching uh, area of uh, ocean conveyor belt All right so you can see here again so the global conveyor belt more or less circulation is primarily primarily uh, driven by the formation and the sinking of deep water so in the Arctic so you can see this water is sink and then form the types of water in the Antarctic so this water also sink and create uh, Antarctic bottom water so you have North Atlantic deep water North Atlantic bottom water so all of this water move around the world connecting with all these big current system that we understand uh, some of it move to the Pacific and goes up and come back and then another way uh, happens in the Indian Ocean and comes back through this Gulf Stream so this Gulf Stream uh, process is very important because it brings a, uh, a huge amount of warm water to this area so now start, scientists start to study uh, the movement of this Gulf Stream because uh, I think um, because it is very much related to the climate change of the um, of the world so ocean conveyor belts relates very much very much to the climate change so because it happens before that scientists predict that ocean conveyor belt stop and then it caused a huge uh, ice age uh, so I, ice age happens because of this conveyor, conveyor belt stop so when when it stops it stops uh, producing warm water and bring warm water to the to, to other areas of the world so when this warm water does not move it doesn't bring uh, this heat energy trans transfer to other parts of the world so it disturbs the whole climate system so for instance so you can see this is the warm system and then this cold water going down so uh, in, in easier in the very easy explanation so the ocean conveyor belt this is the normal condition so it brings cold uh, winds from the Greenland from the Arctic to the temperate temperate region uh, when they pick up this warm air from the sinking of the um, water mass but what happened is if those uh, what uh, conveyor belt stops it will stop the movement of this warm air so when everything is warm uh, there's no warm air so that everything will be very cold so it will create a very strong ice area over here and this warm water could not reach this region uh, much higher so it will stop those conveyor belt so this is one of the concerns of the scientists when they talk about ocean conveyor belt and climate climate system because climate change uh, other than uh, because of the um, greenhouse gases one of the most important aspect also is the ocean conveyor belt because ocean is the regulators of uh, a global climate i think that's all uh, about the conveyor belt so there's lots of reading materials about conveyor belts to understand more about it so it is very interesting uh, uh, aspect of ocean dynamics and i hope that by understanding water mass temperature serenity diagram so we can appreciate the process of uh, ocean conveyor belt and how scientists know this process happens because we get lots of data and we manage to put up uh, you know put uh, the puzzles in and then you know we can basically explain that this conveyor belt happens uh, based on those understandings of water masses so thank you very much i hope you enjoy your uh, learning process bye